show, y'all. In this video, in this episode, I'm gonna share with you guys about some, talk about some polishers. And um, here, I find a lot of guys or a lot of people uh, brag about certain DAs. And, well, you got a flex, uh, a flex or whatever, <laughs> you know, or whatever, you know. I want to set the record straight on some of this stuff, guys. Um, if you detailing some cars, no matter where you're doing, mobile detailer or you're doing, you're the driveway detailer, you know. Um, like myself, I can say, well, I'm the I'm the yard detailer because I can. If somebody if customer bring me cars and stuff, I can detail them out there under my shed, uh, tent or with a portable garage, you know. It ain't got to be nothing so high tech, you know, to detail cars in. Like, um, it could be that portable garage that I closed in and put sidewalls and stuff on it. I mean, I might have 250 bucks in the whole thing. But, by the time you do a couple of details on it, the thing will be paid for itself, basically. If that tent lasts me to a year or two years or, so, or whatever, then tear up. Um, it said I done did 20, 30 details on there and I made money. So, basically, the tent paid for itself. I mean... I won't really have that much money in it. So whether you in a, you know, that's why I said, as whether you in a driveway detail or you in a fancy shop or whatever, it doesn't matter. But this is here, guys. I want to tell people, quit buying into all those high-end DAs and all this stuff that really ain't going to make much of a difference. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Now, in my opinion, this here, I paid about 90 bucks for this thing right here. This is a high yet DA polisher. I've used it. I had it maybe about three years now. So I not hadn't hadn't never had a minute of trouble out of it. Never failed me. I paid about 80, 90 bucks for it three years ago, and it still worked. It's just as good as it did the day I bought it. And I've used it a lot. So, um, I don't see the need to spend a whole lot of money in DAs. I mean, I, maybe y'all see it. I, I just don't see it, you know. Not me. Oh, um, that's how I look, guys. It works. This thing right here works for me. Uh, it ain't no flex or none of that kind of crap. It's just an $80, 90 DA, you know. I don't see the need. Now, some of the only difference that I see in some DAs is that some of them might be, have more watts than others. But all of them get the job done, man. And, and a lot of time it depends on the product that you use them for the job. It depends on the pad that you use it for the job. What's needed? It ain't. Uh, it ain't much. It ain't much difference in the DA. And I'm here to tell you guys this. Uh, it's mainly gonna go by the pads, the product. You could be using the Griots ball system with this correcting cream or whatever finishing sealer you might be using a medium pad you might be using a coarse uh heavy cut pad uh you might be using a fine pad polishing pad or whatever you know but um y'all the da's ain't really much of the problem guys you can get a 60 70 dollar da to do the job You'll really spend most of your money in late country pads. The pads are what get your money, you know. And that's where you need to spend your money at in pads. You want quality pads when you're doing paint corrections and stuff like that. You want to make sure you got some good pads. So you don't want pads crumbling all up and stuff. Trust me, I've seen some of them crumble. So uh, instead of spending all your three and four hundred dollars on flex DAs, get your seven eight dollar DA. And invest your money in pads. You know, I'm just keeping it real. You'll find out that you'll get better. <laughs> you'll be better off just buying good quality pads. Not so much on the DA. I mean, you can get a Harbor Freight DA, man, and get some Lake Country pads or whatever kind of good quality pads out there. Along with the, the Harbor Freight DA polisher, the, the Chicago, I think it's Chicago and Electric, something like that. It's just as good. You know, um, 
And the way I see it, if you get, if a DA like this one here, for example, guys, I paid about 80 or 90 bucks for this thing. I used it, I used it, and used it. I had it three years now. If it burnt out tomorrow, if I start to use it tomorrow and it burnt out in three years, I feel like I got my money worth out of this thing, you know. Heck, I had it three years, you know. <laughs> so if it burnt up tomorrow, I just feel like, you know, I got my money's worth. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. And this is where any other DA, where you get it from, Harbor Freight, uh, the Chicago Electric one. I think now is another name, but it's still Chicago Electric. I think it's, uh, I forgot the name of it. But whatever, if it lasts a year or two, you only pay 50, 60, 70 bucks for it, and it lasts two, a year, two years, I feel like you got, you got your money worth, especially if you used it and done. Because I've seen more expensive brands break down too. So I've seen DAs cost four and five hundred dollars that breaks down in a year or two. You know, so why spend all that money when they risk of breaking down too? You know, they, they ain't a bit better than one you spend 70, 60, 70, 80 bucks on. You know, at least you can just go buy another one. Just like that when they put you down, you know. But everybody gonna be in position to go buy a three or four hundred dollar DA, you know. And me personally, I wouldn't do it, you know, because I don't think it's much of a difference there for me to spend three, four hundred dollars on one versus one that costs a hundred dollars. Uh, I just, I just ain't gonna do it. And if it burn up in a couple of years, I feel like I got my hundred dollar worth out of it. I be mean, get it know. You ain't got about a hundred bucks in it, you know. That's how I see that. So that's y'all need to stop buying into the old price DAs out there, man. Um, it just ain't worth. It ain't gonna make much of a difference. Most of the difference come in is when you're using your pads, quality pads. It cut a lot of time depends on the product that you're using. Whether you're using a fine cut, medium cut cleaner, heavy cut cleaner, the DA always gonna turn fast enough. Depend on the cut, whether you got HD speed up here, whether you got Meguiar's, um, M105 up here, taking out scratches and swirls or whatever. A lot of times, whether you're using a medium cut pad, fine cut pad, heavy cut pad, it ain't a DA. It's what you're using. I mean, you you need to spend less on a DA and just spend most of your money in pads. You'll find out you go through more pads than anything else, dude. So I see people bragging about, oh, I want a flex. Oh, I want this kind of DA. Oh, I want that Grills Boss DA or whatever, you know. I'm like, yeah, they're going to make that much of a difference. You know what I'm saying? You got good quality pads. You know what, what's needed for the job where you're using a heavy compound, medium compound, or whatever, a fine compound, a polish, whatever. The DA going to, any DA going to get the job done. Any DA. I don't care what kind, whether it's harbor freight or what, it's going to do the same job. It's just that you throwing away your money is what's going on. And this person that's wiser with the harbor freight DA, he doing, he doing good as you. He just ain't spent all his money on a DA. That's all. You, know, you just spend that money to look good, say you got a flex DA and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just throwing away money. The person with the harbor freight DA, he doing the same thing you doing. He just didn't spend that much money on it. So anyway, guys, I want to share that with y'all. You can use a polisher as well, like this. Uh, I ain't said this going to do no paint correcting, but if you're looking to put us all in one wax or something on your car, it might help reduce scratches, some scratches, and swirl marks, you know, because it's still a polisher. Uh, but uh, it ain't going to really take out nothing seriously. But uh, it'll help spread the waxing. The all in one stuff better, you know. So y'all quit buying into all them overpriced DAs out there that be failing. Man, y'all need to spend your money in your pads. <laughs> Not the DAs. The DA is gonna do the, gonna do what it's supposed to do anyway. And that go for the ones that come from Harbor Freight and no, all. They're gonna do just as good as the ones you spend four, five hundred dollars on. But it's up to you, you're gonna throw away your money. Till next time, y'all. Y'all be safe. I'm out of here. Peace.